Howdy boys, it's MPC. In this video, we're gonna be customizing the Vapid Dominator ASP, which is based off of the real life Ford Mustang Cobra. This is actually the car that I wanted the most. Like when I turned 16, I really wanted to get myself one of these um, instead of my X3 that I currently drive. But my mom was like, no son, that's an old car. You're gonna die, take my car. So that's how I ended up with the X3. But this was my original like, affordable dream car like you know it was only a few thousand dollars off of a reseller so could have been whipping one of these but uh now i get to do so in gta and that's fine too uh, i love my x3 so i'm not complaining but let's see what we have here for the bumpers uh we got a bunch of different options we got some like big dudes i've never seen a race build asp or cobra so i'm not entirely sure how it looks and i'm kind of thinking we stay away from it because Dude, it looks like that, um, like all these splitters looking out look like that, that dude with the giant chin from Fairly Odd Parents, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll probably throw a picture of him on screen right now, show you guys what I'm talking about, but like, tell me that does not look the same. So I'm, oh my god. Yeah, I'm not really taking many of these options. The twin wedges actually don't look that bad, but I am kind of leaning towards just going for the, uh, the primary aggressor bumper i think that looks nice and clean but you know what those twin edges actually do look pretty sick so we're gonna go with those excuse me twin wedges for the back okay let's see the stock one says dominator and is uh it fills out the space pretty well it's not too overbearing or anything which is something we're always looking for that one's a little too straight laced but it's not a bad option yeah i'm kind of thinking Maybe we go with like this one, the primary GT bumper. I'm kind of liking that because it looks like the stock one in terms of like how big it is and how much space it takes up. But then we also have some of the, I don't know what you call these, the diffuser. Yeah, it's the diffuser. That looks really good for the engine. Oh my God. I forget this one's also part of the tuners update. So it's got a bunch of uh, options as well. I think we're going to go for the secondary ridged V8 engine. I think that looks quite nice. The rail covers... Oh, the chrome mesh looks beautiful. Yeah, that one definitely trumps all of these other options. Uh, that looks pretty cool as well, but I do like that chrome mesh. For the fittings, that chrome supercharger looks insane and fits with uh, the rail covers as well. And then for the strut brace, I'm a big fan of the three, like the triangle pattern one, if there is. And there's not. That's such a shame. So we're just going to go with the extreme billet strut brace instead to match the rest of our chrome options i guess for the engine tunes we're gonna max that baby out and then for the inner cooler i think it's interesting that for every tuner car all of the stuff is like so misplaced like the inner coolers are just it's a category of its own it's not under the engine tab or anything for the s2k which is the rt3000 in game and the karen previon anyway this water sprayer one i'm not really sure i can't see all that much inside i'm kind of just we'll go with the water sprayer one because i think the mesh looks cool in the front for the exhaust oh yeah oh yeah they already blessed us with titaniums oh that's mean <sighs> Ooh, what is oh oh these are side exhaust i like i couldn't actually see it. what the heck is going on why can i not turn my camera hello hello what what is this dude okay i can't even see what those side exit exhausts look like oh that's the best angle we're gonna get but i don't think it looks that good yeah i don't think we're gonna get a great angle on the side exit exhaust like my camera is spazzing out that's fine i was thinking we do the chrome the chrome box looks crazy clean but um i'm kind of thinking we do the titanium boxes dude that chrome box looks so good though when do I ever overlook titanium exhaust? I think I've, I've got it. Like, it just looks way too cool. No, but it's not, I don't know. It doesn't stand out as much. I'm gonna go with the dual box exhaust. I'm not gonna regret my decision. This is like, the chrome one is like, I think it looks cool in the moment. And I, I'll probably continue to think it looks cool, but on the off chance that the color doesn't match with it or like make it stand out, then I'm gonna be sad. So the dual box exhaust is what we're gonna go for with that titanium trimming. Um, and then for the fenders, uh, we're going to leave that. If we can make this wider, that would be ideal. Do I want bolts? That's the bolts and that's the regular. I kind of want to avoid the bolts because I feel like this car is already pretty aggressive looking. 
Oh, I don't know. The bolts do look pretty good. I've been throwing bolts on all of my tuner cars so far. And then with this splitter, I feel like the bolts almost match a little better. But I think it depends on what kind of build we want to go for, like whether or not it's really aggressive. We're going to go with the bolts for now. And then if we need to come back, we can do so. For the hood, we have hood catches. Okay. So cute little eyebrows. It looks so bulldog-like in the front. I think the chrome hood catches are, are good enough. Yeah, we don't need to go with anything insane here. Although those angled ones do look nice as well. We'll see. Depends what fits with the hood. Uh, we've got a bunch of like giant intakes that I'm not sure I'm digging. Ooh, the primary vented hood looks really good. I don't like any of the carbon hoods. I don't think it's like placed particularly well in this car. It doesn't make it look cool or anything. The primary performance hood is like a little too extra. Those are like alien eyebrows. I don't know how to describe them. Okay, yeah, that's a no-brainer for sure. We're going with the primary vented hood. I think that kind of indent in the middle with like the V-shape or what is that, a U-shape? That looks so much better than the other ones. I just like that, that V-cut in the middle, you know? It's like there's intent with this design. They're not just throwing on random options. They're not defaulting. I feel like this one was created with the intent of like being selected on this car because it looks particularly good compared to the other options as opposed to this one which like doesn't look bad but this is on like every single car you know it's kind of lame I'm not really a big fan of that because it's just like a default option it's like i don't know what to do i need to add something but this one that's drip for our interior of course we're gonna do the carbon and stripped interior i think yeah i just think all of these uh these little switches on the side look super cool, but I might not make it carbon this time. I think I want to go with just like the race dash, leave it like black, looks a little comfier, kind of fits the 2000s aesthetic that this car was released in. Um, where do we want our dials? We want the dial and I think we want the pod tacho and dash gauges because that adds as many dials as we can and uh, makes it look like a pilot's cabin. <laughs> For the doors, um, I'm not really thinking that any of the doors look particularly cool, so I'm gonna leave it stock um, to fit the, once again, the 2000s aesthetic. For the seats, oh, those stock seats look pretty comfortable, but I think, of course, we're gonna have to go with our uh, our usual ones. You know, we're gonna do the carbon track seats instead of the uh, ballistic fiber. I'm just digging the, the red straps a little more this time. No particular reason. Um, for the steering wheel, of course, we're going to go with the Rally Professional because it looks comfortable to hold. And if we crash, my head is not going to split open on it like it would on this, for example. Oh my god, looks painful. For the roll cage, let's see. We got the street half cage in the back. Dude, you can see so much in the back. Oh my god, it has the nitrous tank like I was talking about. Why couldn't the other tuner cars have nitrous tanks? What? That's messed up. We could do the padded full roll cage. I'm kind of just thinking... If I could do like a, yeah, a street half cage that, oh, I want it to take up more though. I think like the padded full roll cage looks really cool because it kind of boxes in that nitrous tank in the back. Man, I really like that actually. I, I think it fills out nicely in the back as well. We're going to go with the padded full roll cage. I normally don't like the full uh, roll cages, but I think it looks, it kind of fits in this car. For the lights, we're going to go with the Xenons. And then for the livery, let's see what we have to work with here. What is, what is this? Oh, it's a double stripe. Um, classic black sports stripe. That looks pretty cool. It fits in the car very well. It fits with the hood we've selected. Mmm, there we go. There's that intent. There's a pizza boy livery. We just got some classic flames. Simple race one. Mmm. All right, I'm thinking it's probably, it's most likely going to be the black classic sports stripe. Depends on the color we do though. But I'm going to pick the black one for now. Uh, I think this... Not Tonight Pizza Boy one looks pretty cool as well, but I'm just not really seeing uh, how it's gonna work with our car, so. Yeah, the, this car just isn't like a race car, you know? That's not what I imagine. I imagine you pull up and this thing is more, it's got more like a street build. So we're gonna go with the black classic sports stripe. And then for the louvers, oh no, no, no. Yeah, no way I'm adding a louver when you can literally see the nitrous tank in there. Okay. For the mirrors, we go stock. Um, I'm thinking that secondary one looks pretty good. Depends on our secondary color though. But I, I do like the way it's accented, how it's in like a little triangle shape and it's not just the mirrors. So 
we're gonna capitalize on that accenting that we've been given. For the louvers, I'm kind of like, I think it's cool when they add the lines over the tail lights, but I'm just kind of not really, I'm just not really liking how it's covering the nitrous tank. Otherwise, maybe I would add them. They kind of look very football player-esque. Uh, Gives that kind of vibe, you know? Do we want mud guards? I do think mud guards are pretty sick. Maybe we do secondary mud flaps. I'm kind of digging that. Maybe, I know mud flaps aren't for everyone, but uh, do we want mud flaps? Uh, maybe we leave the mud flaps off. Never mind. I kind of don't want to. There, there's like no intent for it. Like I don't have a vision, so we're going to exclude it. Uh, for a respray, let's see what we got here. Chrome. Definitely this one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was kind of thinking like a oh, red looks really good on this car. Oh, I was thinking like a green though. I think, yo, the hot pink. It's just got to be a strong color. No like salmon pinks on this thing, you know? The orange looks pretty nice as well. I don't know what it is with muscle cars and orange, but this looks fantastic. Especially with that livery. Oh, we could definitely whip an orange. We'll keep that one in mind. Uh, yellow looks pretty cool as well. I don't, I don't know. The yellow is a little too like, it's not strong enough. Green was the color that I was going to get my car in if I did end up getting it. Well, I think it looks pretty cool, but it really depends on what we do with like the pearlescent and the livery, I think. Dark green. Oh, it's just such a risky color, you know? Of course, this car does look fantastic in blue, but I think that's a little too standard for my liking. I don't think the brown looks terrible, honestly. Like, no way. I think it's got to be like a, a more vibrant, darker color like purple or green or something. I actually am really digging that orange though. So maybe we go with the orange. Okay, we're gonna buy the sunrise orange and we'll compare it to the green and then uh, I'll make a decision from there. Ooh, the olive green looks mean. Okay, here's olive green, or sorry, here's dark green, orange. It's definitely the orange. You know what I think it is? It's the livery that's making this work so goddamn well. I'm not bugging too much about missing a color or whatever i think this looks fantastic uh we can go with like a straw brown pearlescent as well i think that i think it just gives it a little more of a yellow hue which i like um with the halloween theme that we have going on as opposed to the white that we had earlier it was very polished but this one's still bright like notice how the creek brown um makes it a little deeper so that looks pretty cool and then for the secondary color let's see okay that's gonna be our pipes and our uh our mirror uh, we could offset the color a little bit i think that would look kind of neat or i don't know what are we thinking there, it's black right now we could make it a slightly lighter orange no that looks whack we're gonna leave it metallic black i think the accenting that it adds just fits so well with the, the accenting on the rest of the car so we're gonna keep that consistent for the trim color uh let's see that one's our seats the trim color it's dark steel i think we just darken those out make them black to match with the accenting don't want that to uh i don't want any like wishy-washy grays in here you know it's black and orange that's what it is then the accent color oh that's on the interior of the car um i'm thinking we we can do a brighter orange for this one uh hello where did the orange go yeah no that one's good, just gonna be orange same orange looks fantastic so far okay for the roof, we could do secondary roof. There's a little bit of offsetting with the tint as well, which is cool. You can sticker bomb this. I just, I was completely overlooking those options. You can sticker bomb it, which I'm not really a fan of. Dang, I wish I could add an antenna on this car, but unfortunately there's no option for that. So I'm gonna leave it. I would maybe do the secondary roof if I can make the back darker as well. I don't think that would look fantastic. Or maybe just like if it didn't have the stripe on it. I just think it looks a little weird. Anyway, for the skirts, uh, I'm thinking we need something bigger to match the front splitter. Those primary street skirts aren't bad at all. Yeah, that ridge skirt. Oh, if that ridge skirt didn't have that uh, little lip right there, I would probably take that one. Oh, like that. Yeah, primary GT skirt. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. What did I compare it to? The primary street skirts, primary GT skirts. Yeah, okay. I, I don't like how the splitter is so much lower than the skirt. So we're going to go with the GT one so that it kind of like levels out, you know? And then for the spoiler, let's go. A little ducktail action going on. Um, drag spoiler. I'm thinking it's got to be like the arrow or... I think we can go a little bigger in the wing with this car, to be honest. 
because a lot of the other tuner cars are kind of just small and dainty and so i need a spoiler like this but the asp is kind of like it's big it's like the linebacker i think i'm not like a football expert i don't watch football at all <laughs> but i think that one does look pretty cool um or we could go with this wing it kind of has that the little like lines right there which is a little neat kind of fits in with the livery and i'm digging that do we want it to be smaller or do we want the bigger wing ah uh, this one just fits into the car so well regardless of the option i think they both look good i am out here picking some gt options though so i kind of like the mid-level ones i feel like i'm committing to it you know i feel like the having a wider stance is like i'm doubling down on uh, picking the gt options that one's too high so we're gonna go with the primary mid-level GT wing. I think that looks really good. Or do I want a secondary one? Match the accenting on the rest of the car. I typically like to keep my spoilers the same color, but I'm almost thinking that the secondary one looks pretty good on it. Nah, I'm gonna stick with the primary one, I think. I wish I did have a little bit of black accenting on it. Like this one looks really cool because it's got a, a mix match of the colors, but I don't like how it sits in uh, in the middle of the livery. I feel like it's not committal enough. So we're going to go with that one. We're going to go with the black sunstrip because the whole point of a sunstrip is that it blocks out the sun, right? So if it's just like reflecting off of it, I feel like it doesn't make as much sense um, for it to look really polished like what we have with the secondary one, even though it doesn't look bad. And even though it's the same color as the mirrors, they don't look like they're the same color. So I'm hesitant to pick I'm hesitant to go with that one, and that's okay. Uh, for our suspension, we're gonna drop that all the way down. Oh yeah, that looks really good. And then for the transmission, we're gonna max that baby out. Oh, the trunk! Oh, we can do a secondary trunk! Yo, 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 yo. Okay, I kinda wanna check this out. Not saying we're gonna commit to this, but we're gonna try the secondary trunk, and then for the roof, we're gonna go with the secondary roof as well. Um, and then, can I do the hood also? See, that hood is just so ugly. They really did this car dirty with the hood. Because it looks really good otherwise, all of these secondary options. Maybe it's the wheels that's ruining this whole look right now. But I'm just kind of not a fan of the uh, secondary hood. So we're going to leave that off. What do we think about the secondary options on the back and the top though? It looks cool. I, I honestly think it looks a little cool. Dang, that trunk looks like a superhero mask like Robin. Okay, we're gonna go do the wheels first and we'll we'll like leave them on and see because I'm totally gonna black out the wheels. Um, and then afterwards we can compare and make a decision then. For our turbo, we're gonna tune that baby and then onto the wheels. We're gonna check out the uh, street and track options really quick, but I already have an idea of what I wanna do. Um, I'm not really thinking I like anything that's super wide like these. I just think it doesn't match the car that well. I don't know it looks okay it would definitely depend on the types of rims that i pick but uh my gut feeling is that i'm gonna end up going with some oh oh okay F see five spokes is what i was looking for and i was originally gonna go for like crackers or something but those tropos rims look insane they're just very big is the only thing we're gonna go check those cracker rims before we make a decision that looks really good we're gonna go ahead and buy those and then we'll uh, recolor them and then compare. So for the color, of course, we're gonna make him black. Do I make him one shade lighter? I feel like it looks good one shade lighter. No, no, it looks good dark uh, like we have with the trim color and everything. So we're gonna keep it like that. Um, the other option would be white for the creamsicle look. No, I think this one is just the aggressive Halloween build. And then of course, we're gonna throw on some tire enhancement with bulletproof tires. Tire smoke, we're gonna black that baby out just to match with um, all of the extra accenting. Like I said, it's black and orange. Like, that's it. Nothing else. Um, for the trunk, oh, the longer I leave this on, the better it looks. I think the spoiler needs a revisit now. Now we make it, like, black, and then, um... Ooh, this is tough. This is really tough. I I think I'm gonna end up going with the, uh, the original look of just, like, the primary colors, because I don't think it's committal enough just to have the trunk and the roof and not have the hood on the front. Despite the livery being black and taking up all that space. I just don't think it all fits together. It feels like I have one foot in both doors and I am not gonna get behind that, you know? This looks really good. Okay, that that trunk black is kind of sick. But alas, I do think it looks better in the primary color 
and this all fits together. There is a vision with this build, and uh, I think it looks fantastic. The Exos are something I would not consider. Uh, the Tropos ones. Here are the Tropos rims, five spokes, very aggressive. A lot wider than the Krakas, takes up a lot more space. And then here are our Krakas. Dude, I really don't know. I, I kind of need like an in-between. I feel like these aren't big enough, and uh, the other ones are too big. I'm kind of liking the Krakas. I think we're going to stick with those. I'm going to just double down on that. Am I? I'm like scared to commit. <laughs> After looking at this a little bit longer, I do think that the crackers are the right choice. The muscle car tires, I don't know if you can see, but they're a little more rounded on the edges right here than the track rims. Those are a lot more like squared off. And so I just think it kind of like completes the car a little more, you know? Lastly is, um, do we want to darken our windows? And the answer is like, I think a light smoke would look nice. I think the, the light smoke adds an extra detail of dark accenting but we can still see our nitrous tank which is like mm, hot wheels fans are thriving right now <laughs> yeah. dude it looks so good i think we're done i think this is it i don't want to throw in a neon i don't think uh this car is soft enough for it so that is the complete build all right quick little sound test for you guys Oh my god! Wait, what? This thing can wheelie? I didn't know that. That's so cool. What? Have I been living under a rock? That's a muscle car thing, right? Oh my god. That's so sick, actually. This car is not currently in stance mode. I'll lower it once uh, we get more towards the final showcase. I wanted to show off the performance because this car is actually very strong um, in its performance. It is one of the best muscle cars in the game, it rivals the Buffalo STX quite well. The STX kind of like can take off on this thing a little bit, but I think if uh, you know you're a really good driver and uh, you don't you know make a lot of mistakes, this thing can for sure keep up. It doesn't give you as much of an advantage um, as the STX does because that car is like. You don't have to be that good at driving for the STX. It's like, it's just, it kind of helps you a lot. Big assist. Um, I personally love using the ASP in races. It is currently my go-to muscle car because uh, because I didn't own an STX before the recent customization battle that we did. Uh, I know this car, it likes to stick to the ground for the most part when I'm going uh, side to side. This is me turning all the way and it's not really spinning out. Maybe on like that third spin, but that's really pushing it, you know? Like, that's not the car's fault at that point. The top speed is... It doesn't seem like it's all that great. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm blowing by traffic, you know? Like, I should be in uh, the other cars, but... It's not slow. It's definitely not a slow vehicle, which... And it can't be slow if it's one of the top performers of its car class. I don't know why most of the cars look so good in orange, but they just really do. Alright, we're gonna make a quick little stop at this diner and drop it. Ooh! That looks so good. Oh my god, this looks so good. It doesn't get as stanced as uh, some of the other ones with, where the wheels like get angled and stuff, but it does a little bit. I feel so cool right now. I actually feel like I own the road. <laughs> We're so low to the ground, you see that? That's like an inch of space max. The car definitely kicks out more when it's stanced, but uh, all of the cars do that, and uh, it's not completely unmanageable. I think it's one of the better gripping cars actually i'm thinking about like the vector for example the vector slides around so much when you uh lower it so this one and the previon actually grip pretty well compared to the rest of them i'm so glad this is in the game i was really happy when they added it because um i've been a big fan of this since i was a kid it's always been a car that i've just like known you know like i'm not going to claim to be the biggest expert on cars but this is always one um along with the lamborghini diablo that I just, it's just like I've, I've been aware of its existence for so long. And I think they're both excellent looking cars. The ASP is such a good addition into the game because uh, it's just such an exact replica, you know? Like there's, like what's different about it? It's not a fusion or anything. It's just almost exactly like, uh, it just looks so much like the Cobra in real life that I, I like, I don't have any complaints. If you guys are interested in grabbing one of these for yourselves, you can find it under the two doors tab of Southern San Andreas for $1.25 million. It's currently on sale down from 1.8. So if you see this video during 
the update week of I want to say January 12th, 2023 is when it started. It's currently the 14th when I'm recording this video. Um, so you guys should at least have a few more days. You should definitely cop one of these. It's a muscle car with strong performance and it looks spectacular. Has a ton of customization as well. It was an enjoyable experience um, creating this thing, which uh, is always something that's nice because it's just, it's so boring when there's no customization options because you just buy the car and then it's like, okay, now I have the car. You know, you don't make it your own. And putting your own spin on it is what makes something flexible. Not flexible like stretching, flexible like I'm iced out with the rolly or something, you know? If you have the trade price unlocked by increasing your LS car meet reputation, then it is 930 grand down from 1.3 million. I do think it's a little expensive for a muscle car. While it's on sale, it's definitely worth its money. This is probably what I would expect it to be priced at normally. I think uh, the 1.8, if it's not on sale and you don't have the trade price unlocked, it's kind of, it's like a bit of a hefty like price tag, but I think it's a really awesome car. So if you got spare funds, then we'll definitely pick one of these up. That's gonna wrap it up for this customization. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, comment down below and let me know what you thought of my build and whether or not you guys are gonna get one or if you have one and uh, what color yours is. Sub if y'all are new to the channel, it helps me out very much and lets me know that you guys enjoy the content and uh, encourages me to make more and that's about it so take care and i'll catch you boys in the next one peace